Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we will be diving in and dissecting the recent patch notes and updates that have been applied to regiments. So what that means is that this video will be two parts. The first part, we will discuss the quality of life changes to both operations as well as the settings. And the next part, we will do an in-depth gameplay test and see if some of these features have been implemented. So without further ado, if you like military strategy, tactics, and doctrine and applied to strategy games, I guarantee this is the channel for you. So make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you just enjoy strategy games in general and, and enjoy talking about them or seeing fun little tactics unfold, hit that bell notification because I guarantee you are in the right place. Now, without further ado, let's dive into these patch notes. I want to start with the operations mode. This is why I want to start with the operations mode. That second operation right there, reaction, heavily changed a lot. There was a lot of contention with this operation in the forums, also over on the subreddit. If you head on over, Regiments RTS, subreddit, subreddit ran by me. Um, the reaction mode was just difficult, challenging to play. They reduced the number of counter offensives you have to deal with. You can now beat the object, the game, the re operation if you have all the capture zones, so it ends sooner, so you don't have to worry about those counter offensives. And they just overall balanced it. I know it's it's a work in progress. I've read forum posts where it's too easy now, but before it was just so, so challenging for some new players. And the worst part was it was a second operation, and that's never a good time. You know what I mean? Just to walk in, get punched in the face after you beat the first operation. There was also some rebalancing to Black Horse Mad Dash. They changed the victory points requirements to beat this operation. Overall, I think that's a good change. It's going to make... It's going to make it easier to get to the forward. Overall, just constant rebalancing of these operations. So if you have any issues, complaints, or you don't even need to complain. I mean, just like, hey, man, I love this operation. Keep it the way it is. Um, let, let, let the developers know over in the forums or on their Discord. Also, check out Operation Sabercut. I know a few of my viewers or, and people on the subreddits are struggling with Sabercut. Um, let them know. Come up with some fun strategies to beat this operation because people just they need help, and this game's a ton of fun, and you need to show it to them. Anyway, let's move on to the settings. Lots and lots of changes to the settings, lots of quality of life improvements. Overall, you can see that the developer's listening to the community. So if we head on over to the controls, let's start with gameplay. Actually, they've added a cursor size increase and decrease. And icon size, I know the cursor size is new, but man, that cursor is so hard to see on the battlefield sometimes. So with that, with the ability to increase that cursor size, Oh, it just improves it. I mean, not just for normal people, man. I, I, I can't see things sometimes, too, you know? Not saying I'm not normal. Next, we have camera rotate left, camera rotate right. A highly requested be be beta, well, a highly requested feature. What that means is, man, all the way back to, like, December 2021, right? People wanted to move the rotate camera, rotate, rotate left, rotate right off the mouse scroll wheel or right click. Now you have the option. Ideally, it's going to be challenging to find a place for these two keys, but it's the world's your oyster now. You can find a place and you can change it. Next, you can also change the free camera if I can find it. Right here, I believe this free camera is now rebindable. So let's hit F1 because that's what I know it as. So if you want to change that to F2, look at that fun new feature that you can utilize. All right, that's most of the quality of life changes in the menu. Those are all highly requested. I don't think lightly of those changes at all, and neither should you, because every single person in the community that was voicing their opinion wanted those changes. Now, let's dive into the skirmish. Ooh, skirmish, man. All right, what do I have to say about skirmish? They are continuing to work on attack mode. They are adding requirements to become victorious in attack mode overall. My favorite mode, and a mode I think you should check out. But regardless, one other quality of life favor they added, feature they added, the random map select. You can now just click on this and just get whatever map that you wanted. Um, there's also a random day. Ideally, I prefer to fight in the day and clear because when uploading videos that are night maps, it just looks like a black screen. Sorry, had to be said. It is what it is. Anyway, moving on. Another feature that they included was that 60 minute time limit. Ideally, it's not doesn't affect skirmish too much. I mean, not skirmish operations, but in skirmish, ooh, if you just want to wage war and just battle and just have endless endless fights, well, not endless. 60 minutes is your cap. One thing they also added is before 
you could only um, add units up to a thousand deployment points. That issue has been resolved. You can now surpass 1,000 deployment points. There's also been some fixes to some other operations. They've reduced the frequency of un unannounced counterattacks. So let's also dive into more of this. All right, one thing I want to make note of is that the AA and AAA and SAMs will no longer be on the front lines. Thank the regiment's developer for that. That's all I can say is, oh my goodness, that was something. You would Im immediately like call in your Heinz or your A10s and just Sam, 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 Sam. One thing to make note of though is these DPICMs. I believe these changes were for the um, A10s. Let me confirm that real quick. All right, everyone. Artillery, we are now getting five bursts instead of plus two ammo. So the buff, the DPICM has been introduced into the game so it's now comparable with the frag ideally that means lots mo a lot more suppression and provides cluster munitions we all love them don't we um so let's click to battle i'm going to put these bad boys on easy we don't need them rolling over me while i'm trying to talk about videos right all right so the first thing we're going to do is get some tac aid and we're going to call in some airstrikes to see where their sam units are at but before we do that, we need to get another division that allows us to have airstrikes because currently we only have dual purpose improvised cluster munitions for artillery. So that's going to be in three minutes. So what we're going to do is we're going to test a few other things since we are on deployment. So we're going to drop some. There we go. I like myself some M1 tanks and you should too. We're also going to get some Cobras on the battlefield because we love Cobras. And then we're going to get our own AAA. All right, AAA has been buffed. Sam's has been buffed. Um, what do we have here? I don't think this thing launches any missiles. We're gonna hit the space bar and we're gonna get rolling. All right, we cannot test the left and right rotation because we did not assign them to a key, but we did keep them on a scroll wheel and it looks like it works just fine. Next, we're gonna hit F1, take a look at the free camera. Free camera, still free camera in. We're gonna continue to push this line. Ideally, what we're going to do is once we have a good little front line formed, we are going to test the triple A with our Heinz. We just want to see if they're on the objective. This is ideally like the fantastic perfect death trap. Look at that. We have a front line right here. We have our flanks exposed over here on the right. And we have Overwatch over here from Bravo Alpha. And then possibly troops over in this position. Ideally, I wouldn't expect them in this tree line, but I would expect them in this tree line. All right, first encounter. One thing to make note of, this is really important as well. Let's pull our Cobras up to engage this unit. Units assigned the attack key will no longer push all the... What the... Is that an ATGM coming from the spot we were not expecting? Let's reverse out of here. Lots of artillery falling on our position. This is not what we chose to do. This is not the war we want. Why are these units over there? That's ours. All right. Regardless, as you can see, we can probe these front lines a little bit. These Cobras no longer push all the way to the objective. Our M1, whoa, what the? We are surrounded, my dudes. Let's probe these front lines over here. I really want to test something. Our Cobras are easily going to take care of them. We've exposed our flank to this unidentified object over there on that left-hand side. Our M1s are going to continue to panic. We're going to get them off the battlefield. They are completely suppressed, but there are two still active, three still active. I'm not super concerned. This unit should be able to deal with that. Running low on ammo, currently 49%, not overly concerned. All right, let's readjust our position, get ready to attack this. And that M1 is officially dead. We're gonna pull these two units back. Um, way less artillery, but we are on easy, so I only see one artillery unit. This hind is actually able to provide a lot of fire support now which is something that was much needed before. We're gonna probe these lines over here on the left-hand side. Um, in two minutes, we're gonna call and test our A-10s to see where those um, units are at. Um, I've probed a lot of these forests before. There really shouldn't be an enemy this far up, so that's kind of honestly a bit confusing in my opinion and a bit too close. Ideally, I think Alpha should be moved much further back off this map. This is way too close, like, right in my opinion, we have Units in this tree line, units in this tree line. Alpha's right there on our door. Let's keep probing. We were receiving ATGMs from this unit. <laughs> Weird little anti-tank squad right on our flank. I that's super ideal in my opinion. All right, and that unit's easily been eliminated by our Heinz. So that unit, in my opinion, never should have been there. 
All right, let's remount our units with X, get them out of the battlefield. Let's click on this unit right here. Let's get our tanks back in the battlefield, see if we can test a few things. And let's get some mobile artillery up. Let's open up our patch notes, see if there's anything excessive I want to talk about. I really want to test these new A-10s because the A-10 gun was um, tightened a bit. It's a bit more accurate, and we needed to see where these um, anti-aircraft guns are at. Ideally, our air power is doing fantastic in this situation. We can tell that there is no anti-air on the front lines. We also know we're not getting overly oppressed by their air, but our, so we can't really test if the accuracy for the SAMs has been moved up. Um, the 60 limit time limit, obviously, is fantastic. They also adjusted some of the logic behind the ATGMs. Unless explicitly ordered, they will avoid wasting missiles when someone retreats. We saw that over here on the right-hand side as we were pulling back. All right. And they just took out our last hind. Bummer, because I was retreating him. Lots and lots of contact. ATGM's up. We're going to dismount these units. We're going to test our DPICM. See how effective that is. Attack 8 feels a bit low. That unit's too close. ATGM's way from this tree line. See? There we go. They just dropped napalm on us. Let's remount our troops. That's going to increase our suppression. Ideally, we did oppress them a little bit. All right, DPICM is falling. Dual purpose improvised blood mission. Overall, wreaking havoc on these units. We have no long range artillery, but there is a unit far in the back. New task force is available. I hope I didn't miss that. Now let's test our A10 gun runs. All right, where's our A-10 guns? Call that bad boy in. 22, once we have enough TAC A, we are going to test that next feature. See how it's implemented, see if it's pretty good. They're calling in more airstrikes already? Mm. We just got absolutely obliterated right there. I mean, our units are completely way too close, but even with that... Vulcan, like that increased range. What's our range right here? Like they never, that unit never panicked. I mean, you could use C for our one unit, but then you hit shift. I thought they said they changed some of this. It feels like this is backwards. What did they do to this shift? They said they removed like the line of sight feature from the shift key. But if it's still C, it looks like they removed C only shows line of sight and shift. That's a major, major change. All right. So shift now displays all of your information about your unit, while C only displays line of sight. Uh, I think that should be reverted. What's next? Let's reverse back. We're getting heavy artillery. I think, like, right. I mean, it's super useful, but, like, if you have a unit selected or whatever, I mean, like, right, C, all that information would display. And if you hovered over it, hovered over it, that's a major change. So now you need to use shift. Shift's more than C now. Oh, that's something new. All right. All right, let's identify a unit, see how accurate our gun runs are, and see how far back this AA is. All right, AA defense super low. We are on medium. That unit shouldn't really be able to see us. Four seconds for that gun run to happen. Once that gun run happens, lots of stuff to unpack here on this accuracy. Obviously, we don't see anything, but let's see what we see. A-10 should be able to see. Hit him with a gun run. kind of random. I guess we really just had him target nothing. Let's just run that back one more time. We'll speed the time limit up. Let's push our way into alpha. Let's call in a few more units. Get ourselves our hind back because it seems like that's going to be the backbone of our forces, this hind. See if we can get well above 1,000. Let's just get everyone on the battlefield. All right, lots of fire coming from that right-hand side. Doesn't look to be ATGM. Oh, ATGM. All right, let's test the reverse. So if we're reversing, let's see what we see. Lots of more artillery units over there on Echo. Good to know. Still no real wind condition. I know they're currently working on it. These M1s are taking a lot of damage. Currently unseen. We're going to wait until our gun runs ready. We're going to test it with an identified unit. And we're going to take out a unit over here that we have eyes on. All right, one thing to make note of is this unit should be engaging that unit technically because he is within range and he's not hold fire and he was identified. All right, let's hammer this recon unit over here. Let's get this 
M2 over here. Let's see. Do we have any units we can bring in? Let's. Oh, I should have tested the SAM site right here. See if it's any better. New task the units did seem to stop shooting ATGMs when we do retreat. That's good to know. All right, we're only like nine minutes into this video. Let's hit that artillery. Let's see if we can recon or spot any sort of unit. All right, we are making some progress. Like, now that we're able to utilize some of these hinds, it is much more beneficial, like, to us. All right, we do have two sets. Ideally, I just want to spot a unit and then call in an A-10 run on them. I'm not being overly oppressed by the enemy. That's something to make note of. All right, first unit's been identified. Let's hit the X key. Let's call in a gun run on this unidentified unit. See if we can get full identification on them. So far, no excessive air support. We do have an identified unit right there. These units are dismounted. We're going to dismount this M2 right here. We're also going to adjust its position. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to call an artillery strike onto one of these positions. That's outstanding. That unit was instantly destroyed. That's a bummer. We are never going to get to test this A-10 gun run, but let's see. Oh, looks like they identified someone. Uh, there was a small unit right there. That must have been the retreating M2 unit, so that is a bit more accurate. Um, ATGM's coming on our flank. We're going to rotate the unit, and we're going to put them on the back side of this hill. We're going to ret retreat our hinds because there's no reason to have them in the battlefield. We're going to move those M1 tanks up, and then we're going to drop some artillery onto this position. We're going to retreat this M2, and this unit's going to dismount. All right. If anyone fires an ATGM at us, we will immediately be begin retreating, so we can check out that unit. That unit was instantly destroyed. This unit's suppressed. Let's see. I, I like, it feels like we're able to interact a bit more with our anti-air than we were before. So this unit, it also seems like suppression's a bit better, but we're also an easy, so I, ideally I should be playing in... Um, Alright. Yeah, that's much better. A-10s are much better. Everything doesn't feel as oppressive, at least. Um, game still has a long way to go, but we'll keep an eye on it. Other than that, guys, peace out.